Hey, it's budget day here in Ottawa, in case you didn't know, and it was a day that was characterized by more conservative efforts to thwart the Minister of Finance from delivering his budget than actually thinking about the budget. Uh, the Minister of Finance actually did, is historically, for the first time ever, rose on a point of order to get through the conservative uh, hijinks in the House and deposited his budget during a point of order, only to come back to it an hour and a half later to try to speak to it while conservatives banged their desks and made it impossible to hear him. What was in the budget that they were fighting against hearing? Well, a lot of measures that I thought looked good on paper till I realized that we have to have laws passed to allow them to take place. So for instance, uh, incentives for first time home buyers, that there be a creative mechanism where the down payment could be split between the home buyer and CMHC with a new fund created to do that. But you have to pass a new law to make that happen. The new law hasn't been tabled yet. There's no way to get it passed before an election. Same thing applies to various measures to, fight, to counter money laundering, to help seniors who are dealing with poverty, uh, to deal with reducing the cost of student loans. All need laws passed before we can see them. Some measures that don't require laws being passed in order to see them uh, fully funded are finally, for the first time since Harper killed it in 2006, the Liberals are bringing back an incentive for electric vehicles and energy efficient cars. I mean, I don't know what's taken them so long. Paul Martin had this in the 2005 budget. Finally, in 2019, after all the years that Bill Morneau has tabled budgets that ignored easy to implement measures like incentives to buy an electric vehicle, we finally have them back. Uh, we also have measures to encourage homeowners and municipalities and businesses to go towards more eco efficiency in their buildings and even to bring in some renewable energy to buildings. But very strangely, it's a one year only commitment of $1 billion to flow through the Federation of Canadian Municipalities for budget year 2018 to 2019, which is just about over. Very strange. I don't know how to explain that it isn't a multi year program. It will just get the Federation of Canadian Municipalities doing some good work when it's all over. Uh, compared to what they're spending on pipelines, obviously, it's still a pittance for renewable energy, for conservation and eco-energy efficiency. It comes down to comparing it with the price of a new pipeline or an old leaky pipeline. Their priorities are still backwards.